Hi, it's Krista Clark with ArtisticVegan.com and welcome to another Artistic Vegan Show. This week we are making a banana split all the way from scratch with ice cream and banana and sauces. It is going to be a really delicious treat that is wonderful for the summertime, really anytime. It's really fantastic and a little decadent and Oh, it's just so good. So I'm gonna tell you how to make it. The first thing you want is some vanilla ice cream, strawberry ice cream, and chocolate ice cream. Now you can just go out and buy your favorite vegan brand. You can make banana ice cream out of bananas, or you can make the ice cream that I made last year, and it was a vanilla ice cream made from scratch using almonds and dates and psyllium eggs. For the strawberry sauce, this is really delicious. You make a homemade strawberry compote and you need about one and a half cup of sliced strawberries without the stems and you can use fresh or frozen and a couple tablespoons of your favorite sweetener, maple syrup, grade B or agave or coconut nectar, whatever you'd like there. And you can use a tablespoon of either coconut butter or coconut oil and this just makes it a little extra rich. You can pass on this if you want, but I really do love it. So feel free to add it if you'd like. You can also add chia seeds if you want some kind of superfood in there and heat it on your stove for and for about five minutes maybe seven until it thickens up and you can mash the berries quite easily once your sauce is thickened and the berries mash quite easily you can remove it from the stove and transfer it to a container and it'll get thicker as it sits there oh it's really delicious you can use this on your oatmeal on breakfast on anything you'd like but for today we're going to use it on our ice cream really really yummy and then we're gonna make a homemade chocolate fudge sauce. Oh my gosh. And this is using one third cup of your favorite dairy-free milk. I used a soy base, that's organic, but you could use your favorite. And a quarter cup of syrup. I used agave, but feel free to use maple. And two tablespoons of pure cacao powder. And a quarter cup of chocolate chips or chocolate chunks one spoonful of your favorite oil. I used um, a coconut oil, but you could use whatever you'd like. Combine those ingredients together in a saucepan and heat it up until they melt. Let it go for about five minutes and then remove it from the heat, transfer it to a dish, and as it cools, it'll get nice and thick. You can dip your berries in it whatever you'd like, grab a spoonful, it'll thicken up in the fridge and then you can reheat it again to create this sauce. Um, for now, you can just set it aside and we'll use that in our sundae. And you can also make a pineapple sauce similar to the way you made the strawberry sauce if you do want a pineapple. My pineapple was just green, so I passed on it, but you could do it. I just was kind of impatient. My ice cream was ready, I was ready. Um, so to make the delicious tree, all you need to do is take a banana, slice it lengthwise, try not to break it. If you do, you can cover it with a little ice cream and then just add your ice cream. You can go chocolate, strawberry, vanilla, or whatever order you'd like, and then add the chocolate sauce to the chocolate ice cream, the strawberry to the strawberry. And if you did the pineapple, you could add that on the vanilla, or I just added extra chocolate since I love it so much. And then you can top it with a little bit of um, whipped cream. And you can use this either by making it with the aquafaba or the coconut. I did the aquafaba with a little bit of cream of tartar and a little bit of sweetener and a little bit of vanilla. And you mix that together for about 15 minutes. Then it creates um, a, a whipped cream that you can use. So then you'll want to put that on top and top it with your peanuts. And that's it, you have your delicious sundae. By the end of the experience, you'll have vanilla ice cream, chocolate ice cream, strawberry ice cream, homemade chocolate sauce, strawberry sauce, whipped cream, and enough to make your very own banana split. So I've taken a banana, split it, and then we have the chocolate, strawberry, vanilla ice cream with the sauce in between. And you can even use a pineapple sauce if you want, but our pineapple wasn't quite ripe, so I passed. And uh, cherries aren't really in season here, so I use strawberry since they are, but you could absolutely add some cherries or even maraschino cherries. And I did add a little bit of chopped peanuts for the traditional bite. I'm just gonna give it a little taste. 
go for the chocolate ice cream myself. It's a little melty. It took me a little while to get set up. Mmm. Mmm. Absolutely delicious. Before I go trying all three of them, I'm going to go share with Gerald before I eat it all. And we're going to split our banana split. Thank you for spending your time with me. This has been Krista with ArtisticVegan.com. And I hope to see you next time. Bye.